turns up too. And I'm Ginger. <sighs> Stretching shit. And we're playing Pokemon Fire Red. Fire Red. And the Jigglypuff. So this is stupid annoying. Um, but so Jigglypuff is a female Pokemon, and it has an ability called Cute Charm. Uh. Because Squirter is a male Pokemon, I hit him with I hit her with a physical move. Uh, instead of being confused, I'm I'm now He's in, in love. love. Uh. And, and I'm immobilized. So by here's love. the thing, right? If you have creatures that are sentient, yes, and they're different species, or even just one, is it is that bestiality then? Like for them? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like when is it no longer that? Is it if the other creature is okay. sentient, is that just interspecies love? But when they're not sentient, therefore there's no consent. Is that what bestiality is? Uh if there's no I'm not talking about spiritually. I don't if, care about if that. If there's shit. no if there's no biological compatibility, then yes, it's bestiality. It is? Yeah. But like okay, then so if it's alien. And there's no way you can. And then there's reproduce. no way to procreate. That is essentially, uh, I believe that's uh, because it's it. But it wouldn't be called sentient. BCF. You're both sentient and you're both consenting. Wouldn't that be kind of just like interspecies relations of some kind? Um. No, if one is unable to give consent, like like, there's like one is not. I mean, well, I'm not, sentient is not quite the right word, but unable to make consent. You know, like yes, like an animal would be compared to a human. Is um, that then? Is that then bestiality? It wouldn't be called bestiality, but yeah, like it, it, it. In my opinion, like the only reason bestiality is bestiality is because a, of the Bible. Hu a human cannot reproduce with an animal. You say that, but then we reproduce with Neanderthals and yes, the but, other ones, but, which technically were different species and may or may not have had the intelligence level we had when we were able to reproduce. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. It's we like we were if, close enough if related. There, if there's biological compatibility, Did you ever hear about? The whole thing in Russia where they were trying to make chimp people? Yeah. But yeah, I believe if there's biological compatibility, it's, sure they no, did it it's, too, no lo it? it's no longer like a slight against whatever, in my opinion. Well, I, but I mean, what I might think is like, I think what, for, to me, at least in my mind, what makes it that is the, there's no way this animal can comprehend fully what's happening, therefore, and it cannot fully give consent. But even at that point... Bestiality is essentially animal rape. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So it's like it's it's. So if it's not that, if it's a it's, creature that can consent and does, rape. and do, if it can and it does consent, then it is no longer that. Yeah, it is no longer because is it still considered bestiality? Bestiality is essentially animal just rape. interspecies. Yeah, okay. I don't know. That was a weird subject to get onto, but because you talked about because he was in love with her, and it just popped into my it, mind. Yeah, it kind of. I was like, would of, that be considered bestiality? It kind of came out of left field. Sorry. Up, well, until, up until you mentioned the whole in love scenario, I was just like, let me talk about bestiality. Let me, well, it was because of that. Well, that's what brought it up. That's why I yeah, said I, those I, two. I get that I now. You probably should have four. It's not like I'm thinking about it all the time. And it's like, like what if I was gonna have? Some, I mean, it would be an ostrich, but it's not like I have one on top of my head. <laughs> you should have. You should have like eased into led, it. Led with that rather than. You know how my Let's mind talk about works. bestiality. You know how my mind works. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like I half the time I like say something. You're like, what? I was like, well, it's because of that thing five minutes ago. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but that's because I had half the conversation the in my mind before I spoke. <laughs> Improve your social skills. No, I refuse. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness! I'm oh. almost out of this freaking cave. By the power of Grayskull. This one's gonna be a lot easier because it's a hiker, and hiker typically have rocks and or ground Pokemon. So and water Pokemon shall destroy him. Yep. It might not destroy him in one hit because water Pokemon have a chance to have an ability called Sturdy that if it would to one shot it, it hangs on to one hit point. Rock steady. Me boom boom. All right. So here's this one, right? What? So bestiality? No. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> no, I mean if you're gonna have sex with one Pokemon, no, I'm sorry. Um, it's Gardevoir, 100% Gardevoir. Who's that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know Pokemon. Um, anyone who who knows what that is is gonna laugh. I'm gonna show you after. Oh, uh, what about the Graveler? Uh, God no. <laughs> that would that cause some serious chafing. Think of the the because that's essentially like jut, j out juts of rock. So imagine. Yeah, I know. I know. Just imagine it. Just the bruise. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, that one cut me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, God, all my blood is leaking out. Literally. <laughs> no, no, I was going to. Um... Oh, God damn it. You have a Pokedex, too? I want one. It's coming. 
keep doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's this is what I'm gonna say. There's like an episode. You watched Thirty Rock? Mm, couple episodes. Yeah. There's an episode where she meets a guy and they like really hit it off and he's super handsome. He's the hair and the other one's the glasses. And then her, I, I, I don't know, I'm giving too much away. But anyways, they're like perfect for each other. And then at a certain point, she goes to his apartment and then he has a picture of like her great aunt somebody. She's like, "What do you have a picture?" He's like, "Oh, that's my great aunt somebody." And they realize they're related. I think they get down to like their fourth cousins or fourth removed, however that works. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's too close. And so they, you know, what's too close for you? I can't even remember which one it is. Is removed generational? I think it's generational. Yeah. So uh, distance wise, we're talking not generational. Third cousin. So third cousin. So not second cousin, but third cousin. That you're willing to at third cousin? No, no, no. That uh, uh, after if it goes, after. If so it goes fourth, fourth, fourth and fifth, I think it's diluted enough that it's. So I did, I did, a, I did, a, I had to do a paper in, in school, uh -huh. and that was a subject that we got was incest. Yeah. And there was a study done by scientists and found that second cousins. It's even even better with cousins, because up until like a couple hundred years ago, and even then, it pushed on into the 1900s. Yeah. Marrying a cousin was not really considered a taboo. It's not no. even in the Bible. Japan still does it. A lot of places still do it. Yeah. I can understand why people get a little. If you keep if your cousins keep marrying each other all over in this one family, yeah, that'll it causes a problem. But that people who have who have like hard time like giving or uh, conceiving and whatever, yeah, those same people if they were with a cousin wouldn't have that problem because mm -hmm. it's close enough that the body doesn't fight it. They don't have like that hostile environment inside their body for the other the person hostile whatever. Whom. It was it was it was yeah, a hostile woman. It was an interesting thing, whatever. But it, uh, and then like certain states it's not against the law. I think like Colorado was yeah. one. And some it's funny is the states where it is against the law are the states where they have a problem with it. It's like in the South there's a lot of states where it's against the law to isn't, like, isn't like Alabama one of them? Probably. And then some of them have like nothing. California you can but you have genetic counseling, which basically I think he means you have one of you has to get your tubes tied. Yeah. Um Honestly, I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the boat of as long as it's a full grown adults consenting, I don't care what they do. And I, no, I, agree. I appreciate the I the, 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 I can appreciate uh, the uh, as long as it's not like a, a power struggle issue, like where one's like yeah. you know, and uh, obviously uh, parent child is disgusting, but even sibling, as gross as it is, if they're both consenting adults, I don't care. Don't have kids. Yeah, but. It's weird, I, uh, but for me, I, yeah, I think for me it was for me. I'm a little, I'm a little more liberal than you. I would go third on. I'd be okay with. Okay, so third, that way, third fourth. Because if it's your second cousin, then you would share a cousin. But if it's a third cousin and your cousins, then you don't share cousins at that yeah. point. So third on, I would be okay with. See, it's, yeah, so for me, third. Unless it was a really hot cousin, then third, third's, a, third's a little, <laughs> third's a little risky because sometimes there could be just enough. You know, I, I don't want. I, I know genetically, but it's actually the odds of it are super low. They're super low, but I, I don't want to play those odds. No, I got you. You're, it, it, but you know, at most, I think we're is it twenty six or fifty six? I think it's fifty six. At most, you could go to the jungles and find a pygmy, and at most, you're fifty six cousins. Yeah, it can't be like more than that. Because there's just not enough people in the world yet. No. Nope. Yet. It's going to go up if we keep blowing. Then we'll destroy the world and we'll go back down to a small group. But. Then Thanos will come out and snap his fingers. Yeah. There it all end. Spoilers. Anyways. I think. Can we get out of this? Can we get out of here? We're, we're close. Yeah. We're, we're, I'm, I'm going to get us out. As soon as we get out. Right. It's going to end it. All right. No, we got some time. You sure? We got. We got. A couple, we got a couple minutes. Okay. Not, not a ton of time, but we got time. Good time. I want to see, because here is our new town. I'm going to... Here's... Oh, yeah, you get to hear the the infamous, infamous spooky uh, spooky, spooky music that got remixed for this game and then remixed for another game. Um, it is the... Because we're in a spooky town. Oh, we're in a spooky town? Yeah. Lavender town. Do... do. <laughs> but imagine this on like Is there game ghost Pokemon here? Yeah, in here. <laughs> oh, it's the old Pokemon Tower. Yeah, it's where it's a graveyard. It's a graveyard for Pokemon, and I want to before the episode ends, I want mm -hmm. to see if we can catch. I don't recall if I need Are those gravestones. Yes, it's a grave site for dead Pokemon that actually died. That's sad. I think I need my <gasps> repel to wear off. Mm, excuse me. So. 
Here's my here's my last question. All right. If you lived in a world, or let's say if someday aliens come here and it's like this, there's that whole idea of like uh, uh, a super race that seeded all the planets. Therefore, if we do run into another alien race, they're going to be compatible with us. Yeah. Even though they may be completely different in ways, like slightly plant-based or whatever, they mm -hmm. could then, uh, we could have children because we're all part of this like super mega thing yeah. that, and, that made us what we are. Um, would you be willing to cross species? Oh, yeah. To have children and stuff? As long as there's compatibility. I'm, oh. I'm fine with it. Interesting. You would not? No, I didn't say I, didn't say I wouldn't. I don't think I can catch a freaking... No. Nah. So you'd go all like the blue chick in... Uh, what's it called? As long as there's compatibility. What's that? What's that? Avatar. No. Oh, yeah, there's that. That's not compatible, though. He had to change... <laughs> he had to, uh, uh, he had to uh, swap uh, minds with Fifth Element. The, yeah, Fifth Element or... I don't know. Is that working Fifth Element, though? Well, I mean, that's the blue chick in Fifth Element, so that's why, that's why I thought you were going with No, that. I was going with what's called the, the video game, Mass Effect. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Bite. Arr. How many Pokemon does this person have on him? Uh, two. I actually, so I kind of want to see if I can get to... Love! I want to show you my favorite Pokemon, if this doesn't take forever. Oh my god! He's immobilized by love. Nope. I'm... I'm... Nope. Yeah, you do your double slap. I'm... I'm, I'm grabbing the Dory. And I'm noping the fuck out of this. Because I'm going to punch you in the face. Or sorry, no, I'm not going to... Son of a bitch. Are you in love? No, he just put me to sleep. <laughs> It became the center of attention. God damn it. Wake up and just kick her right in the face, please. Kick her in the throat. Come on. It's funny that the Nidorino, right? Yeah. Is it like one of the few Pokemon that seems to have like gender specific type. Uh, there are some others in later games that do, but yeah. So, like you could literally have a. Uh, it didn't happen for. It didn't happen again for a long time. Yeah, it's kind of funny they did it. They don't have like I guess it would be like gender dimorphism and stuff like that Come within the Pokemon on. world, except for a well, few uh, creatures. So, so there's there's like interesting things that they started showing. So like uh, a male Pikachu and a female Pikachu will have a different tail, and you can actually see it in like later games too. It's uh -huh. like, pretty cool. Um, like one. Goes left first, one goes right. One one first. has like a cleft, the other one has like a stripe on the tip. Ah. Um Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're not we're not gonna go too far over. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um because we're the as much as Lavender Town is the next town. <gasps> Oops, I dropped my pencil. There's really nothing for us to do there at the moment. <laughs> so we go. I'm going to skip a whole bunch of Pokemon trainers by doing this. And I'll I'll go back and find them on my own later, but... It does kill a lot of screen time. Me having to fight the ones that I had to fight. Yeah. Washa! Nice. Little biker gang. Right. Ah, shit. Okay, one more. One more. One more. We have to fight. We must make good I chemistry. Mean, unless, unless Larry wants to cut this out. <laughs> well, we're already here. He's Why got not? six Pokemon. He's got six. Or sorry, he's got four Pokemon. What is he a freaking Pokemon training center boss? Gym <laughs> training boss, gym face. You know what I'm talking about. Don't uh, be fisheist. Facetious. Fish fest 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 face tishious. Face tishious. Yeah, we, uh, t your dad was watching uh, Andy Griffith. Then. When isn't he watching Andy oh, Griffith? Right. <laughs> My dad loves that show with a passion. Yes, he does. That if we if we, if we ever speak any sort of ill about it, he rips into us. <laughs> That's my fault because I do it all the time. I'm always like, hey, look, it's that corrupt sheriff because he really is a corrupt sheriff. He really is. He does all th kinds of things that are like not correct. Like there's a band going through town. And he's got a friend who plays guitar, so he won't let that band leave town and arrest them all until they listen to his friend play. I was like, that's a corrupt sheriff. It's a very it's corrupt abusing sheriff. his power. Come on, buddy. But oh. it's okay because he doesn't use a gun. That is a bit better. 
Oh, that he doesn't use a gun? Just, just a bit, yeah. Oh. Because then he's not he's not forcing him with gun points. And then, and, and well, yeah, but then Barney has a gun, but he can't be trusted, so he has one bullet and he has to keep it separate. So he has one bullet he puts in his pocket and he has a gun that's empty, and then when he gets an emergency, he puses his one bullet in. I know too much about that show. <laughs> well, it's like, oh, man, I got I got ripped in by my dad because he's been watching Chips lately. Ah, Chips. And you know, we you know our thing about motorcycle cops. Yeah, that, that show is a lie. It is. Like as much They're as California, glorified meter maids. As much as California has motorcycle cops and all that fancy doodah and hooda. Oh, everybody has motorcycle cops. The stuff they do in that show, they wouldn't ever realistically do because a smart person would realize, oh, you're chasing me to arrest me and we're going at pretty high speeds. Bump, you're dead. Yeah. Well, if you're that kind of criminal, yeah. you've already murdered somebody, maybe even another cop, you're just going to bump him off. 100%. Yeah, it's it's pretty dumb. Yeah, motorcycle cops aren't involved in high-speed chases. Yeah. It's too dangerous. Please break through the confusion. They're too busy writing tickets. Shit. Yeah, that's pretty much all they... Uh, all, and and realistically, no, Chips chips and... Uh, yeah, chips? Uh, 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 pa Ponch and... Ponch and... I don't know the other guy. I don't remember the other guy. The white name. guy. The white guy. Uh, Ponch and Wonder Bread. They realistically never wrote a single goddamn ticket. No. They're horrible. Yeah. They're not meeting their quotas. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm not saying that police... You, Cop shows have to be realistic because most of them aren't. No, you know, and well, even actually, if no. they are, most even then they're gonna have a lot of things to get wrong. But it's just the whole. So far, it's it's so it's so off. It's not even yeah. close. So far, from what I've been told, the the rookie, the new one on ABC with with Nathan, Nathan with Fillion, Nathan, with Nathan Fillion has kept majority true to the LAPD. Ah, oh. okay. the lapid, the lapid, the lapid. Okay, so I'm gonna see. Celadon. If I can get this Pokemon. Oh man. Uh, it's it's a certain thing that you wouldn't ever know about unless you explored. So at the top is a little apartment in here, and I get to show you my favorite Pokemon. Yep. And then we grab this, which is. An Eevee! Oh, Eevee! Is that the little fox looking one? Yep, and we are not nicknaming it. Oh! <laughs> I would have named her Evelyn. I would have been okay with that. So oh, we, what the? What the? So we can rename it later. All right, I'll do it. But I freaking love him! Oh, all right, everybody. That's going to end this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye! Hey! Did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.